adjusting newborns, it's like, man, adjusting you guys is a pain in my spine. Especially you. Not me. I'm good. I haven't started yet. Okay, wait, wait now let's finish up. You guys did a good job. We're almost done. I just want to show you some, it's important you understand x-ray. Mm -hmm. This is a picture of a 16-year-old girl. And this 16-year-old girl has a curve in her neck. Is it normal or abnormal to have a curve in your neck? It is normal. Abnormal? I, I think a slight curve, but that looks like a, a abnormal. Big, big curve. Normal. Normal. Okay, so it would be what? It would be no. normal. Yeah, you have to have the arc in the neck. So no, in that, reality, in reality, this normal curve in your neck right here, this normal curve drives the curve in your middle and lower back. So the only way you can have a normal curve in your neck is if the first vertebra that protects your brain stem is in place. And the first vertebra is called the atlas. It's named after Charles Atlas, some Greek myth mythology thing. So the atlas vertebra is number one. And do you see that bone? Is that level or is it going up? It's going up. Can mm -hmm. you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'll do for you now is I'll press a button and we will see if that atlas angle changes, and we'll see if something happens to this girl. Now, I will tell you, she had a very serious emotional thing happen to her, and I want you to see, just from emotions, just from being yelled at by her parents, watch what happens. Let's see if we can see it. This is really cool. What happened to the curve? It missed the chemistry. What happened to the first vertebra? It's, it's not, it's here, not. here. We're, the first vertebra is up, yes? Yeah. 28 to 31 degrees, now look what happens here. See? So now, the middle back has interference, the lower back has interference, and the entire nervous system is now compromised. Now, let me ask you a question. What pill do we take to heal this? What herb do we take? What vitamin do we take? What supplement do we take that will heal this? Answer? No, no, no. That's why the chiropractor has to be grounded in pure chiropractic. I was raised in chiropractic. I started going in 1963, my first visit to a chiropractor. All my kids, all six of them were delivered at home. All six of my kids are unvaccinated. All six of my kids have never had one doctor's visit. All six of my kids have never been sick. Why is that? Because all healing occurs from where? Above, Above um, down, um, inside, inside, out. So. This is phase one. This person gets two to 12 adjustments a year in near normal. This person, as a child, gets 20 to 60 adjustments, and adults 60 to 120 adjustments. If you don't take care of it in near normal and you wait for phase one, we have a little bit of an issue here. But if you don't take care of it in phase one, what phase do we go to? Phase two. Phase two. Okay, so now, now we have sharp pointy things growing. You see them? What are those called? Spurs. Now we have spurs growing in this, off the spinal vertebra and possibly into the spinal cord. What are we going to do now? Well, I mean, which one did you want to take? The one in the white bottle, or the purple bottle, or the green bottle? No, nothing, nothing in this bottle is going to change that bone spur. But if you take what's in these bottles, it'll set you up for a visit to the neurosurgeon or the orthopedic surgeon or the cardiologist or the endocrinologist and it goes on and on and on. If we don't take care of it in phase two, what phase do we go to? Three. You got to. And now we have total fusion of four vertebrae. Okay, now our thyroid doesn't work, we have hormonal imbalance, our adrenals are in distress, we get headaches two, three times a week, our blood pressure is through the roof, um, we have issues with allergies and I'm always coughing and getting phlegm up. Um, where do these headaches keep coming? Well, interference. Now this person I can't put on a schedule for correction. Because this person's spine will not correct. This is fused. Right. So I would tell them that and say, I could try to get some motion in there, get some pressure off your brain stem, but I can't tell you. We're a corrective-based office, so when we tell you things are going to correct, if you follow the care program, it will correct. But if you don't, and you start playing around with it, then, you know, you'll get partial results because you're getting partial care. And I'm okay with that, as long as you understand that.